Nearly 8,000 people fall through the ice nationwide each year, in extreme cases ending in injury or death. In Wisconsin alone, over a million fishing licenses were sold in 2019, a third of those for ice fishing. During a busy weekend on Lake Winnebago, near our hometown of Amro, there can be over 7,000 vehicles on the ice. On this lake alone, an average of 15 vehicles go through the ice a year, costing $5,000 or more to remove each one. After researching, we found little existing technology to keep winter enthusiasts safe on the ice. We thought the most effective solution would be to create a robotic sensor that could test ice thickness and upload it to a user-friendly app without a person or vehicle needed to venture out on the ice. Our original brainstorm sketches were rated using an engineering analysis in order to determine which design fit our criteria the best, with the highest scoring design chosen for our initial prototype. The class then divided into specialized groups, each given a specific task to contribute to the prototype. We used a cardboard mock-up in order to get a better understanding of the most effective sizes and shapes for our actual robot. Once we knew the estimated dimensions, we began designing the parts in a CAD program. Because one of our primary criteria was constructing a lightweight robot, we decided that 3D printing the tracks and gears would allow us to customize our parts and easily preserve funds and weight. After doing extensive research on different types of sensors and consulting with Dr. David Reed as well as local Arduino experts, we decided to use ultrasonic transducer technology. By using sound waves to determine ice thickness, we were able to accurately and reliably measure ice thickness by calibrating the sensor for the speed of sound in ice. To understand the sonar technology better, we decided to use Snell's Law, which is used to measure the angle of incidence and reflection of a wave when reflecting from a change in two different mediums like ice and water. Another aspect that was vital to the robot's function and design was the body frame. Utilizing our graphic design skill set, we were able to create our original app, Statice. We followed the three-click rule allowing users to navigate, examine current and past data, along with weather patterns. Future iterations include advancing the sonar technology to take measurements without stopping as well as automating our robot. We also plan to use data that Iggy collects to show trends in climate and ice cover over time. This will improve our understanding of the impact of climate change on our community as well as the planet.